Good morning. I am driving in today to pick some people up and we are going to do one of my favorite tours, which is the, here's my, here's my, uh, there's my paperwork on this tour created by the great Wilson Dorwood, who helped who works with Bowtie Tours. It's called the Washington Crossing Tour and that encompasses the Battle of Trenton number one, the Battle of Trenton number two, and the Battle of Princeton. Uh, it deals with a lot of things that happen over on the Pennsylvania side and a lot of things that happen over the New Jersey side. And I know that's one of those moments that a lot of people remember about George Washington. What I wanted to talk about just a little bit today is not so much those battles, which, which um, I love talking about, which I'll be happily talking about all day today, but what I really want to talk about is when do you make that kind of leap? When do you make that risky kind of attempt? Because the thing about it is when you choose to see some, do something that, that is unusual and risky, uh, of course you're gonna get blamed if it fails. Of course you're also gonna get blamed if you do something conservative and it fails. Basically, the great leaders like George Washington, like Winston Churchill, whoever, they understand that they're going to take the hit if, if it doesn't work. And they're going to take the great risk when it makes sense to take the great risk. You know, so many people uh, fail to win because they don't try to win. As an attorney, uh, I used to write a, I, I wrote a book called How Not to Think Like a Lawyer because I used to take some what appeared to be crazy chances. Well, they weren't crazy chances. If I was doing it, it was because that was a way I thought I could win. And most people aren't trying to win in court. They're trying not to look bad. They're trying to protect the record. They're trying to make it so their supervisor doesn't say they made a mistake. And if George Washington had been that kind of a person, he never tries to cross the Delaware in the middle of a nor'easter because people like Horatio Gates, people with more experience, all told him that this is a crazy thing. It was an all-or-nothing gamble. As you may know, big Eagles fan from Philadelphia, the reason the Eagles beat New England Patriots is we tried to win. That sounds a little bit ridiculous, but you know how many teams they, uh, you know how many teams just lay down in front of New England because they're scared of them and they don't try to win? How many times have they won a Super Bowl because they just didn't mess up and the other team was scared to win. And Doug Peterson, the coach, he's gonna go along with Nick Foles who comes up with the Philly special. He's gonna come up with a plan to pass the ball to the quarterback. A guy who's never thrown the ball in a football game to a guy who's never caught a ball in the football game. That doesn't work, it's a disaster. That works, he's brilliant. It worked, he's brilliant. He's now got a statue, the two of them, Nick Foles and Doug Peterson have statues in front of uh, the link because that play worked. If it didn't work, Doug Peterson's an idiot, he choked, he should have just given it to Blunt, he could have run it through. If you want to understand how people look at George Washington or any leader, just look at sports. If George Washington fails in this endeavor, the whole, the whole thing may be over. He knows how risky it is. He knows most of his army is going home. And he decides to go for it and you know, when Dr. Rush goes and meets with him, right before he does it, he sees him fiddling with, with a writing and he writes down victory or death. When you get to that point, victory and death, when you have to succeed, you will do whatever it takes to succeed. And you don't take risks when you don't have to take risks. That's called foolhardy. But you need to know when you do need to take that risk, when it's the sort of situation that you have to go for. George Washington understood that. He went for it. He crossed during a huge storm. And it was probably the height of his career as a general. It's, it's the moment that we all remember and deservedly so. It's a great moment in American history. So think about that next time you're devising a strategy. Am I just okay with losing respectfully? Or do I wanna win? And think about George Washington and the way he crossed uh, the Delaware and defeated the Hessians.